Remember, you're in a space station. No! No, come back, I'm trying to make a video! Oh, you're a dick! Did you want to be a YouTube star? No, come back! Alright, well, screw you. This dude wants to be a YouTube star. We'll talk to him. What is up, everybody? It is Bruce Wolf with Wolf Brothers Gaming. Back again in uh, the old No Man's Sky, the most hyped game of, like, ever. And worth it, in my opinion. A lot of fun playing this today. Uh, did a Let's Play video earlier. Got a couple more to go. But uh, this is me. I would like to, uh, 14 hours into playing here. Uh, I've been kind of stuck on it all day. Say goodbye to my weekend. Anyway, um, so this episode, this uh, video, what we're going to go through is some of the tips and tricks for this. I know I'm not the only one that just started today. There's probably some people debating on whether they want to buy it. But uh, here we go. We're going to go through some of the painful lessons I learned throughout the course of uh, the day. All right. So first thing, like, you'll notice you move really slowly around this gigantic world. It's brutal. It's real brutal. However, you do get spaceships so you can quick hop fly around pretty easily. There's also some tricks, like, uh, on PC, and keep in mind I'm going to be doing keys and everything for PC because PlayStation's been out for a while. You guys know what's up. Anyway, Q is your melee attack. Shift is your sprint. So if you shift, sprint forward, do this, and then do your space bar forward, which is your jetpack, you go a lot faster than you would even normally. This is normal jetpack speed. Uh, so the timing on that's kind of a pain in the butt. Oh yeah, milestone. So those are milestones. You get them for a bazillion and three different things. There you go. That one's for walking 50,000 U, whatever a U is. I have no clue. All right, uh, let's see. Next thing, this is your in your inventories, which is tab on PC. This is your exosuit. Periodically, there are things called uh, what are they? Drop ships that you can find with the scanner, which I'm going to show you in a bit. Uh, and you pay to expand this. Having a big inventory is definitely useful in this game. Starships, these you buy to upgrade. There's a whole bunch of different ones and. They're usually expensive. I think if I had actually bought this ship instead of finding it as a crash ship, this thing's uh, about two million or so. Not great, but you know, again, slots very important in this one. Your weapon, multi-tool. This you have to either buy or find by talking to aliens. Better ones. This one's a seven slot. It's pretty weak, unfortunately. But um, all right. So say if I wanted to add something to it I would left click on it and the one that got me for a lot of the time is to craft a lot of stuff you have to hold down E then it gives you all these things like bypass chips you use those a lot they come in handy further down the line it gives you the stuff you need to make a uh, warp cores which lets you warp around all fun like these recipes you pick up from various different spots in the game there's little boxes laying around. This right here is a monument. This one didn't give me anything, but a lot of them do give me stuff. And uh, so that's one way. Uh, the other thing you gotta do throughout the course of this game is learn the languages of the various aliens. So these stones right here, they're called knowledge stones. They give you one word of the language, each one. Yes, you guessed it, that is a milestone as well, learning a whole bunch of words. Now, um, scanning is also real important. It's a real quick way of getting credits early on. So you just scan stuff that you haven't seen before. Which I just landed on this planet, so pretty much everything should be not seen. You see right there, right next to my cursor, is a red dot. That means it hasn't been scanned yet. So, oh, by the way, when you're zoomed in, you can right-click to zoom in. And if you want to, you can use it to snipe with your mining laser. Alright, so usually you want to kind of unless you really don't care some of these things are aggressive and they will come and try and attack you also you'll note that you have to both scan the males and females of them or you can you get the privilege of scanning both of them sometimes the males are like aggressive and the females are skittish sometimes you can't do that they'll try and kill you alright flyers they're a pain in the butt to scan 
as you can see. You can either jetpack up and sometimes you can get close enough, but that usually responds to that. You get hurt. The other one, you can use this handy dandy trick and you can track them down and if you're better with the... Oh, that's too far. That's why. Laggy spike. Alright. There we go. Watch where they land because they're they sometimes like to disappear when they land. But once you've uh, shot them down, as it were, and you can find the body, which, as I said, is always the hard part. Once you, there he is. Once they're dead, you can scan them. A lot easier than trying to track them down in the sky. Pain in the butt. And. All kinds of stuff. Basically, you walk around with this thing when you first get to a planet and just scan, like, all the things. Yeah. That's the other thing. Thanks for reminding me, computer. I really appreciate that. Scan. One more thing. Alright. So, in your thing, your hazard protection, usually, if it's too hot, too cold for you, there'll be another bar next to the little white one in the lower left of the screen. Usually shows up right around here. That's protecting you from poisons, it's too hot, too cold, whatever, keeping you alive. This is your life support, it just kind of generally goes down all the random time. So carbon, as you can see when it pops up, you can pretty much get it from any plant life type thing, you just shoot it with your thing, with your little mining laser. Oh yeah, scan things, because I don't want it to track it down again. There we go, and there I have carbon, and then you go in here, left click. And left click, full charge, sweet. Alright, moving on. More flyers, again, you can shoot them down. Some of these plants you don't shoot to harvest, like this one right here. Just run up on a press E. Those ones are usually the first ones that pop up, as you can see right there when you press C, which is your, just scans everything around you. Yeah, there's a, another thingamajig right down here. Let's see what we got. Flora, that's a shield. Basically, that just completely regenerates your shield, which, you know, obviously, easy assumption gets beat up when sentinels or whoever, you get into a fight. Now, this one happens to be flying, but if you look at how that shows up after the scan... Would you? Go, you. Oops, mid. There we go. That, by the way, is the plasma launcher thing. It does that. I strongly recommend it. It's probably my favorite weapon. You don't have to switch anything. You can have your mining laser. No, come back! Get back out! Holy roll away, Batman! How rude! I'm trying to make a video here. Rude face. Come back here. Gimme. Thank you. Plasma launcher. Already know. But that is the weapon I was using to blow those up. Also, for those of you maybe further on in the game, when you get to places such as, uh, what are they, uh, mechanic shop or the operations thing, any of those, you have to blow up this big steel door which takes absolutely forever with like this thing the whole time you're getting shot by those little robots. Pain in the butt. But um, that the plasma launcher just blows it up one shot and walk in the door. Sentinels don't even know you're there. Anyway, these things that show up like that with all the crazy boxes, they mine differently than everything else. Instead of just hitting it until it blows up and you get this big hookup, you have to like go through piece by piece. These are usually with the more valuable things, and uh, if you see there it says green, neutral, in the green letters it's neutral. That's not just a chemical type, it is, that's uh, uh, basically the fact that it's green means that it's a trade item and if you look in here copper is 110 per titanium 61 gold's another neutral rare which is 220 units platinum 55 you get the idea make money shoot these things collect them and uh, sell them make money easy easy stuff all right let's see oh yeah T I can't show it to you it's too bright out but T is your flashlight, comes in handy sometimes in uh, caves, whatnotage. And yeah, that's kind of interesting. Never seen that one before, but it is supposed to be every plant different. For the most part, it is, so that's interesting. This is actually a very nice plant. I kind of like that one. Look at the view. It's a beautiful view of some random other planet. Good times. All right. So yeah, basics of it. 
wander around, make discoveries, and I'm going to run back to my ship because I'm a scaredy cat and I don't know anything about this planet yet. So, yeah, that's a thing that happens. Whoa, have I scanned you? Hey, you, you. Alright, no, okay. So, jump in your ship. Alright. So, inventory screens I covered. Various materials I covered. Da -ba -da, da -ba -da -ba -da. All right, let's. Uh, I'll come back here later. Let's uh, let's go take you into space. Show you how that is. So basically, to go into space, you point yourself up, do your boost, fly through the atmosphere, and bada boom, you're in space. Go figure, right? Anyway, all right. So pretty much all over space are these asteroids here. You shoot them, and voila, you get thallium. Thallium, I, it's not a very expensive material, but it is the main thing you use for your space engines. So the fuel you use flying around in space. See. All right, uh, it's called pulse engine, thallium nine. So basically, when you're flying in space, if it ever starts telling you you're low on fuel, blow up a few of these things. Uh, let's see, that symbol right there, that little orange one, that's a space station. Like it tells you right there, that's handy. Anyway, um, when you're going, you can either press A and D to activate your pulse engine or space. And it makes you go really super, super fast. The brakes for this, which took me a bit to figure out, is pressing S or back button. Which usually helps. On all the space stations, there's a shiny little thingamajig right here which you fly through. Don't worry, it's not like you have to fly through that whole thing. It's not really dangerous. Once you get in here, robot takes over. It takes you in and parks you. Mighty handy. And once you're here, out you jump. Alright, so you see all these different circles. Other ships will come to those and park themselves and you can trade with them. You can buy their space pet their uh, spaceship if you like it. This is generally the easiest spot to you know, do trading and stuff and things because there's multiple different traders can look around and get the price you want for whatever you happen to be selling. Usually on this side, left if you're facing down, is a door you can open. You go in here, there'll be some alien to talk to, like this dude, who looks like a Star Wars dude, but okay, whatever, go with it. And see, this is why I said you want to learn the ling the words for the language because uh, yeah, you don't really ever know any of the things here. Right click exits you. Um, I know th there's a flashlight. See, that's what it looks like. This right here is a trade terminal. This is just a another trader for you to go into. You find those all over in the worlds too. So bye. Pretty simple, basic stuff. Uh, that is bright is what that is All right there it is often you'll find these little device looking things there's a couple of them some of them give you money some of them heal your shield some of them heal you it's kind of give or take type thing anyway and you did it see there's a whole bunch of ships like I said and of course if you see anyone that you particularly like you are able to buy them like hey what's up yeah, yeah, talk at me. I know I'm an interloper. Interloper on the world. So, let's see. 32 slot ship for 9,583,517 units. So, when you're doing the process of buying a ship, don't do what I do. You open this, you're able to transfer your goods into the new ship's item. Transfer everything you can transfer into here, or else you will lose all your crap away. Not so good, but, yep. Yeah. Other than that, if you, you got enough money, you can step in and buy this ship from him. And then he's just stranded in the space station until, you yeah, know, whenever. Rip. Sorry, bruh. Okay. That's one thing. Again with the talkie talkie. So, the other things you hold down to buy. And you can see what stuff he has for sale. Nothing real good. And sell. Alright, see this red number? That means it's selling for cheaper than it should. If you see a red number in the buy screen, it means 
you're they're charging more than they should be for it. So, kind of stick to green numbers for the high m money things. Remember, you're in a space station. No, no, come back! I'm trying to make a video. Oh, you're a dick. Did you want to be a YouTube star? No, come back. All right. Well, screw you. This dude wants to be a YouTube star. We'll talk to him. <laughs> and all uh, right. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Customer. Thank you. Alright. Hurry up with the talkie talkie again. Alright. So again, you can sell stuff to them. Neither of them are giving good prices, but screw it. And your money goes up. It's pretty simple stuff. Right click backs you out. You can go check what he has for sale. The power, the, the, what they have for sale changes a lot. These antimatters are used to make your warp cores and stuff. It's kind of a thing. And then at the end of everything, if you want to check out the price on his ship, see his is only 31 slots, so it saved you 2 million. Boom. Anyway, uh, different ship models. There, it's not like this ship model is a 32 model and this one's whatever this one is. Every different ship could have however many slots. It's just how you happen to find them and all random like. Uh, so let's see, what is this one? 27 slots for 4.5 million. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of a cool one, though. Look at that. Looks like a swamp runner thing. Anyway. Alright, so that's the basics of how all of that stuff works. Where did I park my? There it is. There's my little jump trip. So, by the way, another thing I found out, uh, occasionally while you're wandering around planets, you get, um, beacons pop up uh, when you're scanning the thing and when you get a beacon you can then go to it and sometimes they'll pop up coordinates for um, what's called a crashed ship when you get there there'll be a ship and every item on it every mod that is there is broken but if you want it and they'll you know there'll be like a something else you could do there'll usually be some loot around there and like a little you know guess the right answer and if you get the right answer you get free stuff type thing mini game action but uh, if you like the ship that's there so far most of them you've been I've been able to just take all you gotta do is repair all the crapoid on them which you know it's a pain but it's doable and a lot cheaper than paying nine freaking million which is hot but yeah all right let me see if I can find a little scanner thingamajig what do we got then? Another flying rock. Ah, she's a rock. Oh. Probably killed some innocent, defenseless wildlife there. And then what is this? This is probably something I should show you. So we'll go. E. The E button initializes landing and all that fun stuff. Alright, what do we got? We got something. Alright, so you see this is omen valley or whatever you hit the save button and then you boom you have now officially discovered omen valley uh, after that you can press escape see how there's red dots that means there's a whole bunch of stuff scanned that i haven't sent up yet also you'll notice that when you complete all of these things whatever it is they want to you get a bonus which on this planet is two hundred fifty thousand. to you know you can rename everything as you feel over here to rename your planet so let's call this you YouTube star. There we go. So now this is now the planet of the YouTube star. Lol. And other than that, you upgrade all through here. Upload. Word. Hard. Yes. 2 a.m. Good times. Though that's not really an excuse for me. That's like lunch time. But alright. Once you've done that, you go out and let's see. I received 13,500 units for uploading all that stuff just for what I have scanned while you guys were all watching here oh yeah by the way whenever you're in these on things watch these dudes yeah they hit you they're very rude plants hentai porn I've seen this hentai I know how, what happens here okay but see that thing right there is uh, one of the things you can select this right here should give me some new design of some kind Theta, it seems, is the top range of everything I've found so far. It seems like uh, Tau is the second stage, the second 
Vest and um, was it Sigma or hold on we, I can answer this question all right hey maybe I can all right so yeah tau is plus two to whatever Sigma is plus one and theta is plus three to whatever it is so it seems like theta is the stuff you want to get it is more expensive though go figure why would why would a game person make the better stuff more expensive never made sense to me that this is creepy very creepy area all right this is abandoned this is just one of the things you can find in the lovely world here all righty and again normally you'd scan all this stuff and you'd see there's usually some random loot over here no such luck this time and then See if I could be lucky enough to find a scanner here. Which I can't. Of course not. Anyway, they. I'll just cut. I'll go find one because I do want to show you those things that are important. And uh, I'll bring it back as soon as I find one here. Alrighty, that didn't take too long except for me getting my ship stuck up there and not having enough fuel to move again. But that's alright. Alright, so this is the thing. See? Needs a bypass scanner. Exoscoot, press E, bypass, what am I missing? Plutonium and iron. I'm missing everything because I just cleared my entire inventory. But, not that big a deal. Right over here, it looks like there is plenty of plutonium to be had. All the plutonium in the world. It's all mine. Oh, wait, you're just a plan. Ah, oh, give me this stuff. Thank you. Oh, I need you too, don't I? Der, da, der, da, der, da, der, da. What are you? Oh, it's a sandworm! I love these dudes. It's a sandworm, see? Craziness. Anyway. Alright, so once you have Z stuff, I know, super complicated to go mine like two random rocks. I know. Alright, so then you come over here, press this button, make one of these, boom, back out of there, walk up to here, hack it, open it. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look here. So what this does is it scans the entire area around you for stuff. So say you wanted to find a monolith, what I found earlier and all those words and everything. Colonial outpost is either a base or a building like that last one, that abandoned one. Transmissions are ones that will turn into all kinds of stuff. Shelters are usually just abandoned houses and dropships, which I'll go scan for a shelter real quick. Which it'll sit here, do its thing, and it'll find one. That is just a regular shelter, and it's the one right next to us because I forgot to get this thing. <laughs> That's awesome. So, what will we talk about the fastest cut ever? So here we are, we are at the shelter that our fancy dancy scanner found for us. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, it's beautiful. What the fuck are you? A big sandwich with horns. Anyway, so after you do that, basically you can spam these things. So I have got into the practice of basically every time we get to one, you scan for all four of its things. Uh, let's see shelter again see if it'll actually do a scan thing and uh, what this will do is it will pop stuff there drop pod that's exactly what I was looking for so you see it's over a uh, zeta way and it is nine minutes away if I go that way let's see if there's a ship summoning spot here somewhere I like to get my ship down because it's on the other way up there because it landed up there for some unknown reason ah good ship summoner so once again, the many valuable uses of ye old bypass chip. Deb, make yet again another bypass chip. Hack this dude right here. Boom. Hello, shippo mine. Root face. Now, let's go ahead and fix its fuel issue. Launch your planetary stuff needs plutonium to fuel it, just like your space stuff needs the ther ther thermian 9 or whatever it is. So, make sure you ride the red crystals, because every time you take off like that, it takes 25% of your available fuelage. 
again chef sprint you that's a cool looking rock all flying there and stuff and there's another scanner you can see by the big lasers laser things laser to the sky and you fly right over here and yeah urch. yeah close enough not my best parking job but you know it's a thing so where is it? it is right up there up we go all right climb the mountain and this is what a drop pod looks like remember to get these things or else it will show up on scans in the future like I demonstrated thoughtfully earlier because that's what that was and then run over to this thing find the opening like so jump in there exosuit upgrade by one more slot and at this point it is hundred thousand per slot that means the next one's gonna be a hundred and ten thousand then uh, you go back in here and look I have a beautiful new slot which these slots you can use for all kinds of stuff you can get stuff to make you have more health better shields make your jump pack last longer life support last longer make you run further all, all kinds of crap if you decide you want to do that so very useful things basically inventory is like god in this game so make sure you have a lot of it or well I guess god would be a bad analogy for that anyway um, <laughs> there's some hate comments coming alright and yeah let's see what else can I go over here I went over how to upload oh I strongly recommend anybody ever field of view for flight <laughs> you should just go ahead and take that all the way up because um, it helps a lot it doesn't help so much now but if I see that's how that looks if I go back in here oops wrong button that button good at it and yeah decrease this down apply like a smart person man it's not gonna do it now it it just hates me see I'm trying to make a YouTube movie and it hates me alright and graphics okay can we actually apply this time <laughs> great well it's not showing it, but on space missions a lot, it, oh, there we go. It'll zoom down to this one pane of window in front of you is all you can see when it's at 75 or lower, which makes it a royal pain in the buttox. But, um, space flight, uh, space combat, it's hard. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but it's hard. I will tell you that. My only deaths have been to that. Pain to boot. Let's see. This is kind of a cool looking spot. Uter Valley. Uh, anyway. So that's pretty much the majority of the game. There's space combat. There's exploration. There's an underlying storyline behind everything that I'm not going to ruin for anybody that may not have been playing and or does think about buying and all that. It's kind of an interesting background. Stuff to Gragra. I love Gragras. I don't know why. But Gragras are great. Anyway, what I happen to find here is uh, the planet side trading spot. See? It's a landing pad. Periodically, ships will land there. You can trade with them just like up in the star space thing. Oh, look, more devices. Yay, money. Yeah, I'll take all your money. No, I don't want to talk to this dude yet. Uh, what do you want? Let's talk to him real quick. Let's see. I am a co conspirator. Yes, I know. I'm an interloper. Why is that always like the first word they teach you? Uh, yeah, screw you taking my gun. Nope. Yeah, you better. No, no talk us my gun. I will shoot you in the face. Like right meow. Anyway. Speaking of gun, look at this thing. Look at that. Nine slot multi-tool. I wonder if I can transfer like I can with the space thing. This is a good experiment for everything. I cannot. So basically all this stuff is worthless and going to, I'm going to have to rebuild it. Okay. But boom. Ah, now you buy it and you get a fancy new gun. Good. 
looks like this. Oh, and it still has my little blaster blaster. Cool. All right. So, but then you can modify it however you want. Beam intensifier or get the launcher and all that stuff. As you can see, it takes certain things to make it. And yeah, that's how you upgrade your guns. <laughs> Talk about blind dumb luck. <laughs> Uh, anyway, alright. Oh yeah, these are important. Always look for these things right here. These little houses. Because you see, you go in here. And usually... Unless this one's weird? What? Uh, there we go. Device. Shield at maximum. Alright. Anything else in here? Eh? Spin the chair! That's a fun game. No. That's not what I'm looking for. And yeah! You can rob them! Always rob wherever you go. I do believe that's kind of a thing that you have to do. And why wouldn't you? Because it's a thing. Yay, money. Anyway, they always have random stuff in them. Usually, out of a few of those, you can get, um, you know, a tech part and all that stuff. And now, looky, another little scanner. So, those things are everywhere. That's why earlier when I said you can completely fill up your map with all kinds of stuff to do on one planet like endlessly as long as you fill up on those things frequently yeah, I'm out of stamina maybe I should build that handy dandy stamina increaser yeah. titanium rock block. you rock I don't like you And this is what happens when you shoot the little robot without your fancy dancy boom boom gun. Yeah, gimme. Ah, where is he? Aha! <laughs> Mining laser you to death. I'll do it. I'm not scared. Mining laser for the win. Take, your, take all your things. And apparently there's one left. Nope, deactivate. Alright. And there goes a ship that I can trade with. There's always something to do. There's always stuff. There's all it never ends. There's always stuff to do. Leap. <laughs> a pink ship, no less. Alright, how much for the pink ship? I gotta ask how much for the pink ship. I'm sure you all wanna know how much it costs for the pink and lime green ship. One million. Oh. oh, that's only 19 slots. Garbo! But it is pink. And for flying around a pink ship, you, sir, you win. You just won life. Grats. Anyway, alright, guys. That's going to be me. If anybody has any questions, let me know in a zealed comment. Shoot a like at the video. And tell me what you think, stuff I can improve on. Maybe you've got some tips and tricks for this game that I don't yet. I'm only 14 hours in. I'm sure there's people way more than that. And I'm sure even in 20 minutes, somebody smarter than me can figure out better fancy tricks a lot faster than me. So yeah, that's the thing that happens. And um, yeah, share the wealth, smart people. Yeesh. Anyway, all right, guys. That's going to be me, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.